Let me open this one. Just let me open it. And we're back for the second half. Let's see if Carlson can really turn this thing around. Truman's going to inbound the ball. Dante Barrowed it. it. Passes it to Robert Whitehorn. Arian Foster Smith shoots that pull up shot, and he is making that shot look like a trademark, I'm telling you. You can tell he's been practicing that one. He's now got 20 points. Eddie Perry swings it out to Jared Henson. Jared Henson back to Eddie Perry. And a steal from Whitehorn. Another Whitehorn with the fast over. break. He goes up with the floater, and it is off with a rebound from Kalen Irwin. Dayton Aaron with the floater. Larnell with that tip. He gets the rebound. He kicks it back out to Jared Henson. Back to Dayton Aaron. Jared Henson gets the ball. He gets it to Dayton Aaron who shoots the three. And his three is off. Offensive rebound from Bink Irwin. And he misses. You can get all the rebounds in the world, Mario. But if you can't score, they're worthless. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Oh my God, how was there not a foul called right there? <laughs> foul called on Arian Foster. That would be his second foul of the day. Eddie Perry swings it out to Dayton, who shoots the three, and he is off. Eddie Perry with tremendous hustle to get the ball. Some sloppy offense right now. They need to get that together real quick. They're back to that same look we've seen in the first quarter. Arian Foster-Smith with the fadeaway, and he is blocked. Denied. Arian Foster makes the layup. 22 points for Arian Foster Smith. The Marauders back in their offense. They're running a four by one look. Chris Butler with the foul. Marauders will inbound it. State. The miss from Jared Henson from the three. Robert Whitehorn with the rebound. Dante Barrels passes it out. Robert Whitehorn can't handle the rebound. Dayton Aaron outlet to up and in. There you go. That's Carlson basketball. Larnell Tidwell. You got to stick to the fundamentals. That's what gets you. Devin Goodwell with the miss. Jared Henson misses the quick shot. I'm telling you, neither one of these teams could seem to hold on to the ball, Sean. Seems like we're back and forth and back and forth. I don't know if it's slippery glue under that ball or they're just too anxious not to hold on to it. Yes, audience, I did say slippery glue. <laughs> uh. um, that shot is way off by Dante He just Barrow. met Bink, and Dayton Bink Aaron said hello. Fast break. He passes it out to Evan Wallace, and he is off. Arian Foster Smith with the rebound. He is just a phenomenal player. They need to learn how to stop him real quick. Whitehorn with the miss. 
Eddie Perry with the ball. Dayton Aaron drives. He goes up with the floater, and he is off. Boy, Dayton Aaron's not having such a game that you'd expect him to have. Arian Foster Smith is just dominating this Carlson Marauder offense right now. He is blocked by Arian Foster Smith. Sloppy play again. Dayton Aaron draws Finally. the shooting foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two free throws. Dayton does not look happy, Mario, and I don't blame him. He's been waiting for that whistle to blow all game. All of us have. He sinks the second one. Robert Whitehorn with the ball. He swings it out to Dante Barrow. Robert Whitehorn gives it to Devin Goodwill. He shoots and he is blocked. Larnell Tidwell with the block. He's got some length over there in that defense, huh? Six foot five and... Ooh, not too sure about that call. It's good defense by the Carlson Marauders. Shooting foul is called, I believe, on Evan Wallace. Devin Goodwell will go to the line and shoot too. That is Evan's second foul of the night. He knocks down both of them. The Truman Cougars have looked really good from the free throw line today. Not to mention the three and just about anywhere else. Eddie Perry passes it to Evan Wallace who gives it to Larnell Tidwell and with the easy finish. Teamwork, it's all about teamwork, Mario. No one man can do it all. Dayton Aaron called for the reach it's all about teamwork Mario no one man can do it by himself no sir Truman with the ball in their offense Goodwell with the miss Binks getting them boards they have that going for him. Can't say too much more though. Robert Whitehorn called on the foul. Arian Foster checks in the game. Jared Henson and Evan Wallace check in in the game. Jared Henson almost loses it. He passes it out to Eddie Perry. He shoots. Eddie oh, Perry down. makes the shot. Down. And a miss from Dante Barrow. Whitehorn passes it out. Foster Smith catches the tip off the bad pass. Eddie Perry receives the outlet. Eddie Perry dribbles, shows some moves, and he loses the ball as Devin Goodwell steals the ball. Dante Barrow with a tremendous finish, and one. He'll go to the line and shoot a free throw. The and one just stings. Does nothing but stings. Like a bumblebee.
He misses the free throw. Larnell Tidwell with the rebound. Dayton Arrow in possession of the ball. He gives it out to Evan Wallace. He misses. Truman on the fast break. And Dante Barrow goes up for the easy lay-in. Dayton Aaron with possession. He swings it out to Eddie Perry. Larnell Tidwell makes the shot. Larnell Tidwell is showing this Marauder team some life. They need it. Arian Foster Smith, and he is in and out. And a shooting foul is called for Larnell Tidwell, number 22. Devin Goodwell draws the foul, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Bink Irwin checks in for Evan Wallace. Both share a role at center for this ball club. Bink with the rebound. He's the outlet feeds it to Dayton. Dayton drives to the rim. And one! A strong finish from the guard. The four years started. That's experience and talent combined, and that's what it gets you. You know, it's just his tremendous vertical, his leap, how he throws himself off the floor. That Dayton Aaron is a tremendous basketball player. He will play at the next level. Dayton Aaron will shoot this free throw. And he nails it. A three-point play from Dayton Aaron. Whitehorn faces some pressure from Sam McCornell. Marauder defense playing really aggressive right now. Devin Goodwell goes up. He travels. Marauder ball. It is 39 to 49. The Truman Cougars lead the Carlson Marauders. Dayton Aaron with the ball. He faces pressure. Jared Henson almost missed that pass. Thank God he looked that last second. Eddie Perry shoots the three, and he is off. That's his shot right there. He's got to make those for this ball club. Carlson fans not liking that call. Sam McCornell checks in. Coach Raymond likes to use Sam McCornell as a defensive player. He's quick and he knows how to get to the ball. I would just as well. Shows tremendous hustle always. Tyler Roberts also checks in. Truman will inbound the ball. called on Tyler Roberts. Devin Goodwell inbound the ball again. Whitehorn with the ball. Arian Foster shoots the three and he misses it with the time ticking down to the last seconds. As Carlson gasped for more air. It is the end of the third quarter. The Truman Cougars lead the Carlson Marauders 39 to 49. They've been fighting that 10-point battle all night, Mario. Hopefully they can cut it less and less and maybe get on top for once. It's got to establish a good run. This game is all about runs. 
The fans going back and forth. And the fourth period is underway. Carlson trying to hold on, but barely. Dayton Aaron gets the ball. It is the start of the fourth quarter. The Marauders are down 10 points. They really need to turn it up, Mario. And I mean quick. The Marauders are known for their rallies in the fourth quarter. Truman foul on the floor. And the fans trying to keep it alive here at the Carlson Gym. Dayton Aaron with possession of the ball. Communication is key, and I ain't seen it out there today. Eddie Perry's facing pressure. He swings out the ball and it is stolen by Terry Milan. Devin Goodwell goes up and he misses. He got a little excited there, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Can't get a little excited, gotta make the basket. The Marauders get the ball back. Dayton Aaron sets up the offense as he passes it to Jared Henson. Eddie Perry has the ball. He goes up, and he is slightly off. Jared Henson with hustle to get the ball back. Arian Foster with the ball. And he is fouled on the floor. He'll go to the line and shoot one and one. And he knocks down both of the free throws. Arian Foster has been putting on an absolute clinic for these Carlson Marauders. They don't know how to stop them, and they ain't figuring out anytime soon. Ooh, the block from Arian Foster. That lowers the mojo on this Carlson offense. Blocks like that are just demoralizing for a team. They got to step it up right now. Dayton Aaron receives the inbound. Eddie Perry misses the three. They are just not making their shots. Mari, I don't know why they're shooting threes when they need more twos. Exactly. They got to establish a better game in the paint. Truman has the height, but they got the speed. Dayton Ooh. Aaron. That would have been dirty if he would have made it. And again, Arian Foster just continues to dominate this Marauder basketball team. The Truman Cougars just look more smooth, more calm, and just more ready, and they look like they want it more. Carlson looks tired, demoralized. Well, this is Sean Pacheco and Mario. We're your commentators for this basketball game. 
I'm the handsome one, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I had nothing to say on that. <laughs> but the ladies did. But the ladies did. I think he complete basketball right now. Carlson needs to put the D in defense or else this is over quicker than it began. Dayton Aaron dribbles up the ball. He gives it to Big Irwin. He goes up for the easy finish. Robert Whitehorn is followed hard. Dayton Aaron with the foul. Robert Whitehorn sinks his first free throw. Him and Foster just seem to be a bad duo, don't they? I'll tell you, I haven't seen a good one like this in a while. Probably since Kobe or LeBron. Out of bounds. Truman calls a timeout. Confusion down with the Marauder team. Lack of communication. That'll that'll do it to a ball club. You got to talk on the court, Mario. You got to let your players know what's up. <laughs> Trying to get the Marauder fans riled up, but... They seem just as tired as the basketball players. Six minutes left into the fourth. The Truman Cougars look to inbound the ball. Robert Whitehorn. He passes it out to Dante Barrow, who kicks it out to Goodwell, who misses the three. Dayton Aaron with the rebound. Goodwell Aaron thought he draws was... the foul, and he's going to the line. Goodwell thought he was going to get away with that, but the ref thought otherwise. He misses the free throw. Devin Goodwell with the rebound. He throws it out of bounds. He wasn't even looking at who he's throwing it to. It's just a bad to. play. You can't do that. Mistakes like that will make this game a lot quicker. I don't know what I said just there. Dayton Aaron with the three, and it is off. Dayton Aaron just seems to be struggling today. He doesn't seem like the normal Dayton Aaron you've seen in the past years. The points don't show it, and his attitude doesn't show it, Mario. Oh, he's calm and poised, but he's got to get this team going. There's no leadership going on right now. He needs to lead his troops to battle. He is blocked. Dayton Aaron is on the floor. Great 
great sportsmanship shown by Arian Foster as he helps Dayton get off the floor. Dayton's getting up slow. Let's hope it's nothing serious. Bink Irwin to shoot the free throws. And he sinks the first one. And he knocks them both down. Whitehorn with the ball. He goes up and one. No basket. The basket is waved off. Fouls on the floor. Mr. Raymond trying to sort things out with his team. He's wondering what this game, what happened in this game. Dayton Aaron is to sit down for the first time of this game. He does not look too happy about that. He knows his performance was not too high today. Whitehorn makes the free throw. Whitehorn knocks down both of the free throws. He's shown quite some efficiency this game. He might not be the best scorer, but he doesn't seem to miss much. Nah, he is. He is playing very smart, drawing fouls when needed. And this Truman defense is just incredible. Carlson has been shut down all day. This is number 12, Kyle Cox's first appearance into the game, and he has a steal. He's going. He's going. He goes up, and he's good. Strong finish from Kyle Cox. He's only been in this game a minute. He looks like Carlson's fresh air. Whitehorn with the fadeaway, and he's off. Goodwell with the rebound. Kicks it out to Chris Butler, who makes the easy layup. Mechanics, mechanics, mechanics. I can't stress it enough, Mario. Yep. This team's just got to be more aware. Tory Gray checks in. Along with Evan Wallace. At some height out there, maybe get some more boards. I understand why Raymond's going with that. Yes, Raymond's a really smart coach. But today, this team is just getting beat by size so far. Evan Wallace with a miss on the left-handed floater. It is out of bounds on the Marauders. It is now Truman Cougar ball. Eddie Perry knocks it out of Whitehorn's hands. Still out of bounds. Truman Cougar ball. Alex Roming and Aaron Herman to check in for their first minutes of the game. Carlson calls a timeout. This will be a 30-second timeout. They're, the deficit is still at 15. As Raymond tries to uh, talk to his players, trying to get some fire going, we don't know what happened, but he does not like it. 
and he is trying to change it. On the other hand, we got cheerleaders doing flips. God knows why. Gotta love those state champ cheerleaders. Second year running? Yes, sir. There seems to be tension building up between the fans and the stands. Carlson cheerleaders doing flips to impress the Truman faithful. Their fans didn't even hesitate to retaliate. Because they know, Mario. They know. Goodwell inbounds it. Jordan Jalen. Jordan Jalen. Jalen Jordan. Oh, shit. Robert Whitehorn with the ball. Swings it out to Arian Foster, and he puts down a ferocious dunk. Arian Foster is just shutting this team down and ending the game. What a beautiful finish and start by Arian Foster Smith. He's going up again. Let's see if he does it. And he and does he it. He is just in. finishing this game. Arian Foster Smith with two dunks in a row. I can't believe it. He is just. He is just putting this one away. Carlson seems to be giving up. Alex Roming with the putback, and that is off. And that is out on the Truman Cougars. It is now Carlson Marauder ball. It is 45 to 64. The Carlson Marauders are down at the Truman Cougars. Aaron Herman shoots the three, and he is way off. Evan Wallace with the one-hander. And that is just off. Terry Milan with the ball. He swings it out to Jalen Jordan. Chris Butler with possession of the ball. Chris Butler loses the ball. Timeout called by Truman before they can get the ball. Got to walk before you can run, Mario. Carlson may be losing, but their fans are still cheering like they're winning. You gotta love that team spirit, Mario. These fans have been standing the whole game. I'm quite impressed. That just shows you how supportful they are here at this school. Win or lose, you still gotta love the team. Blue is just surrounding the net. Jordan Jump with shot. the shot, and that is an air ball. Kyle, or change that. Andrew Hayden catches the air ball. Alex Roming with possession. Out of bounds on Truman. Truman thought they had it. They let it go right out of bounds. They thought, but they didn't. Torrey with the jump, that loses is, the ball. That is just way off. Low percentage look. Should have kicked Jaylen it out. Jalen Jordan dribbling it up, trying to make something happen. Terry Millen passes it. Jalen Jordan misses the three. Kyle Cox brings it up. And he steps out of bounds as he catches. Just couldn't get rid of the ball in time. You know he wants that one back real bad. Jordan Jalen dribbles up the ball. Dante Barrow swings it about to Terry Milan. Terry Milan gets the ball back from Jalen Jordan. He shoots the fadeaway and that is off. Both teams playing pretty sloppy right now. Oh, denied. Oh. 
Jalen Jordan swings it out to Terry Milan. Dante Barrow dribbles it out. It's a minute and 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jalen Jordan is oh. blocked by Torrey Gray. What a that, tremendous block. That's his second block today. Alex Roming with the ball. He swings it out to Kyle Cox. Aaron Herman with the open look. And that is off. Almost made the shot. Rebound from Terry Milan. He goes up. And he is fouled. He was a little quick there, Mario. A little quick. He'll go to the line and shoot, too. And he knocks down both of those free throws. That last free throw put him at 21 deficit, Mario. Kyle, Kyle. Cox with the three. Kyle Cox with a beautiful stroke from that part of the Beautiful form. That was a good shot all around. We needed more of those today. You got to love these Carlson fans still sticking up for their team. Oh, it's just beautiful. Truman trying to waste time, getting double teamed. Truman dribbling it around as the clock unwinds. We're down to the last 30 seconds of this game. Jalen Jordan draws the foul. This is the first one. They haven't missed many from the lines. No, they have not. And he misses the second one. Aaron Herman with the rebound. And he starts the fast break. Alex Roming with the ball. He goes up. He misses. Rebound from Jalen Jordan of the Truman Krugers. You can see Torrey Gray's got his eye on him. He didn't like that at all. Clock on lines here at Marauder Stadium. The Truman Krugers defeat the Carlson Marauders 66 to 48. That is the end of the game, folks. Thank you for watching. Please tune in to the next game as Carlson takes on. I forgot. We don't know. <laughs> I'm Sean, and this is Mario. Thank you. Good night, Carlson. What's up, man? Dude, we sucked. See you in 08. It's a sad day for Marauder fans everywhere, but we will live to fight again.